Okay, let's go. Gee, it's ready. Oh man, today got to talk about Avatar 2. When saw it last night, it's so disappointing. God, what a joke! They spent all that money on that, on that, uh, like three hundred million dollars to tell a story about the kidnapping of children and the killing of animals and others, all the two legs. And uh, there was this part that was about um, growing, having him leave the forest and go to a whole new world for them. And I mean, uh, part of the planet and live in the ocean and learn to hold one's breath and all of that. And they, this family had gone through a war and they had lost their home, their tree, their home tree. Remember that was blown up in the first movie? Well, the humans didn't learn anything. The defeated humans who, there was no diplomacy at all. The, the next movie started just with warfare <laughs> fairly quickly. It was like, hey man, we're leaving, living our peaceful lives and we have children and we're growing our family and uh, we're trying to move on. And then fa, fa was this whole thing shows up and it's just there's no story it didn't the humans try for diplomacy at all no not in there and here's the sad part even sadder is no one in the james in the movie production the script writers nobody said hey is this really what we want to tell and because we're going to spend so much money on cgi we're going to make it look really wild and things going through. Uh, but they didn't. They said, oh, we'll just, and it was about, you know, the invading assholes. The Marines didn't learn anything. They didn't learn anything about like caring for animals. These guys are in here. So yeah, you were supposed to be learning how to carry our seed bags. Uh, it's just upsetting. So, yeah. And this cavity in a tree, which was hit by a human long ago to get the pitch, the sap. It's the tree survived. It's a massive tree. But this movie, they could have made anything. It's, it's a fictional story. And they, and they could have really emphasized how to con reconnect to nature. They did a good job, but not enough. So yeah, I walked out. I walked out um, when, the, uh, when the whale, the ancient whale, was killed by researchers and the greedy Captain Ahab to get the money out of the pituitary gland. So bad. That's so bad. What do we have here? Oh! Squirrels. Hey, there's so few animals in this forest. It's it's a celebration to have a squirrel. Thank you, squirrel. So bless the squirrels. It gives some seeds. Cause you might come through here again and like. Yeah. Yay! We got one animal. There he is again. Yeah, it's the same one. He's bouncing around. Toby, come. Hey. Come here, buddy. Hi, thank you. Thank you for coming. You're getting better at listening. Oh, also in the movie. Uh, and yeah, the family dynamics of living in that community and village was enticing. I was really curious about that. But again, script. Script writers 
this family was going through such hardship, warfare, the loss of their home, every, all these things, so many things, death, so much death and destruction, and now they have to do it again. But in those times, you may be hard on your kids and hard on the family, but you use the words, I love you, often. And in the movie, nobody, <laughs> Scully, Jake Scully never told his wife or his kids because of the script, not him, the character, it's the script and all the script writers, nobody said, you know what? I would just, at this moment, just say, I love you so much. And that's where the failing is. Yeah. Wasted all that money. Anyways, I'm going to continue on and put my gloves on. Thanks. Oh, and any cultural appropriation stuff in the movie? I didn't really see that really at all. That... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's just uh, youth uh, reporting who don't have life experiences or whatever, you know. So uh, is is this? Uh, I'm Norse, man. I'm from the from the Norse lands. My ancestors are from the Norse lands, strongly, strongly Norse. So.